very good afternoon and welcome to all of you for the launch of the App Factory today in Mauritius. You may be wondering why do we have this and what's driving us to actually set up this. Uh, let's look a little bit at what does Mauritius need to do to improve our economic performance. First, I think we need to increase investment in innovation and R&D. We need to accelerate the digitization of Mauritius. There's a direct link between digitization and economic performance. We need to produce highly skilled talent so we can generate high value and better paying jobs to retain our youth in Mauritius. We need to leverage the best and the latest technologies. Or if we do all of these, we will make Mauritius much more competitive so we can grow the economy above the 5-6% annually. But we have some challenges that we need to overcome. The growth of the technology industry in Mauritius has slowed down over the years. There's not enough developers to fill the jobs, thus slowing down economic development of Mauritius. The take-up of STEM degrees is very low. There's a lack of interest in computer science in IT. We need more engineers. Now, you may be interested in this data point. Very often, we compare Mauritius with Singapore. Singapore has 4.3 times the population of Mauritius, but they have over 40 times the number of engineers they produce. Just think about this. Mauritius companies is struggling to grow in Africa and beyond. Our competitive index and our innovation index can do better. What we need to do? I think the first thing is that we want STEM education to become a top priority for the country. We want students to start coding at a very early stage at schools. Some of you were here two weeks ago when we launched the Africa Code Week. You'll be pleased to know that we have been able to train 743 teachers and trainers. Hopefully, we hope that next week we'll be able to train 12,000 to 15,000 people in Mauritius. And also, the good outcome of this is that MIE, the Mauritius Institute of Education, is looking at including coding in school curriculum. We also need to attract more girls and women in technology and computer science. This will help us build a much more inclusive society. Technology and software can help with these challenges I mentioned earlier. You have heard about the saying, software is eating the world. It means that software is getting everywhere is the primary tool to actually solve your problems, whether you are in manufacturing, tourism, agriculture, banking, finance. Today, more software engineers are needed to produce a model car than mechanical engineers. The banks of the future will be run by software engineers, so we're not very sure whether the banks will become software companies or the software companies will become banks. I'll leave this to you. We will know, but the truth of the matter is that uh, all businesses are becoming more technology. Uh, focus. There are more jobs created in technology today than other sectors. Cerulean and Microsoft has collaborated, have collaborated for a number of years. I only mentioned five years. It, it feels more than five years. Yeah. Um, we have done a lot of things together. We ran the annual hour of code and we look forward to the 27th edition in December. We have the Smart Apps Internship as well, which we've been doing with University of Mauritius, attracting between 120 150 students annually. We're also a Microsoft Silver Learning Partner, and we wanted to crystallize that partnership and take it to another level, so we can jointly increase our contribution to the Mauritius ecosystem. Our factory will enable us to do this. I believe this is the 14th app factory in Africa, correct me if I'm wrong, and there will be many more to come in Africa. I think we started talking about this app factory about three years ago, yeah, with Arno and, and some of the guys in Microsoft. We were even going to call it La Factory, but today here we are with our factory. Given Syrian's ambition of growing our footprint in Africa, we are privileged to partner with a company like Microsoft who has a lot of focus for Africa. Now, how will our factory contribute to Mauritius? First, we want this to be a center of excellence for developing world-class skills. We want to build talent pipeline to close the skill, skills gaps we want to improve the employability of our graduates by bridging the gap between learning and earning and take their ideas to the next level. We want to give young people the opportunity to create technology to build products that can improve the quality of life of people and make the world better. Secondly, we want to contribute to that innovation ecosystem. We Mauritius needs to build products for Mauritius and the world. We need to transition from this service mentality to product where we have IP, we create IP, and it's also 
generate wealth. We need to be a creator, not just a consumer of technology. There's no better way to make Mauritius known as than have a product made in Mauritius but used in the rest of the world. You all know the story of Skype made Estonia famous. Having said this, Skype was actually founded by a Danish and a Swedish, but they did it in Estonia. Why not having some people from all over the world to come to Mauritius and build products out of Mauritius and put Mauritius very much on the map? We want to provide access to technology to local companies, especially SMEs, and we look forward to work with the Ministry of Small Business to make this happen. We want to provide mentorship, help them with their business models so then scale up. This is one of the biggest challenges that SMEs have. We want to help make connections, network with African businesses and markets, and we also want to drive the startup spirit by creating a community of digital entrepreneurs. App Factory needs you. We need partners. Sounds like Uncle Sam wants you kind of thing, yeah? <laughs> now, the first thing is that we want to partner with government, yeah? We want to partner with the government in your digitization efforts of making Mauritius a modern economy. We also want to partner with universities. There are many universities represented here this afternoon. We want your students to come to our factory for internship during their studies and also after they, are, they graduate. We want to also equip your lecturers with the latest skills so that they can go back to universities and share that with their students. We want to work with SMEs. We want to take their business to the next level through digital enablement and transformation. We want to work with municipalities and small cities so that we can solve problems using technology. And also we're looking for all of the partners. We believe in the power of partnership. We want to add more partners to our factory. We're getting started, Ceridian, Microsoft, but we want to add other partners in the months to come. Talk to us if you want to explore partnership opportunities. In closing, I would like to thank both ministers for taking the time out of their busy schedules to be here on a Wednesday. I know Wednesday you are all very busy. Um, I would also like to thank uh, Lutz, Siop, Laurence, Janssen, and Arno Melier for, from Microsoft for your support and partnership. And I also like to thank my team the leadership of Syrian Learning Center. Thank you very much for your attention. It's a proud moment for us to be here because I think in a small way, we will help to create and accelerate history. We all know that we live in a different world. I'm pretty sure all of you are already waiting for the moment where you can get your little device out and check the latest uh, news feed of um, email or a Facebook post or whatever you're missing in the last 10, 15 minutes. Many of you probably found a way here if you didn't know how to come here by consulting an application to help you to find your way. I wonder how many of you have done some banking over the last couple of days using technology, organized their uh, family um, reunion or vacation or whatever. We see technology changing our world in a faster and faster way. In fact, the World Economic Forum calls it the fourth industrial revolution. We at Microsoft prefer the term digital transformation because that's really what it is. It's not just technology. We are living through a process where the way that we work, we live, we work and entertain ourselves, we learn, is changed through technology and the digital transformation. And this has profound results for the way that we look at our education systems because two things have to change. One, what we know, and what the other one is how we go about it. So here's an interesting development. If you go across the African continent, you find every country has an unacceptably high level of youth unemployment. And unfortunately, that is the case here at Mauritius as well. And at the same time, in the same places, as we go around and we talk to companies, we talk to our partners, one of the first things that they mention to us is, we cannot find the right people to hire. In fact, we had a handful of meetings this morning uh, as I arrived here, and in literally every single meeting, we had a discussion about the skills gap. How can that be? In some way, we leave young talent out there, unattended to, disappointed, and at the same time, we stifle economies by not being able to find the right skills gap. So what we need to figure out is what are the right skills gap and how to train them. In a small way, that is what App Factory is trying to do. Now, app can stay in for app, the small little programs that you know on your, your smartphones, but it also stands for apprenticeship. Because one of the things that we over-optimize in our education system is the abstract, more academic way of acquiring knowledge. 
I was compared to trying to teach someone how to ride a bike by giving them a beautiful, well thought out, really um, well delivered speech about riding a bike. <laughs> Probably not quite going to work out. Well, ironically, that's exactly what we do in our schools nowadays. We actually try to teach computer science um, degree uh, students by talking about code and the beauty of code and the power of code instead of actually letting them write code and do things. That's one of the things that we do in the App Factory fundamentally differently. Instead of talking about learning a skill, we actually exercise that skill. And in a very broad way, it's not just the technology skills, it's the ability to work together as a team. It's the ability to, heat, um, to uh, work under deadlines. It's the ability to listen to customers so that I understand what they want and I can translate it into code. So there are all those kind of, we often call them soft skills, that are often underlooked, that companies so badly need, or young people need to create their own companies to become startups and entrepreneurs, that we inject it into the process. So that's of the what and the how. The what is important as well. When we talk about technology and apps, don't just think in a narrow term about software engineers. Remember when I, I gave you the examples of where you touch technology every day. Today for you it's very, very normal to be guided by this little device with a map to send you to the right place. We already know that in a few years from now, you will not be surprised that the car that brings you here drives itself. Yeah, it sounds a little bit out there, but we know already it's possible. In fact, there are many um, um, initiatives around the world where that's being tried. If we set up a little different thing here, we would use artificial intelligence and you will hear my presentation, not only in English, but simultaneously in about a dozen other languages. We are already at the point of being able to do that. What your doctors will do for you, your architects, your builder, your electricians, will dramatically change in how technology is being applied. So yes, we need the software development skills, but we also need, and that's part of what the App Factory does, the knowledge how to apply technology to all other fields, literally from uh, health to retail, from uh, finance to legal uh, and, and agriculture and so forth. So look at the App Factory as a bit of a testbed of understanding how 21st century learning and skilling should work. And then one of the promises we make to, to every government is this is not knowledge that we want to keep ourselves. We look at them as laboratories to understand how learning can become more effective. So we're very excited of working with colleges, universities, or schools and cooperating in the process of bringing that to the table. But let me briefly also talk about why we're excited working together with Ceridian. The world that we prepare young people for clearly will be a globally connected one. And that is as much an opportunity as it is a challenge. The opportunity part of that believes, uh, means you can live in a, some place, let's say on an island, coincidentally, and yet your customers that you service and that you find can be somewhere around the world. And hence the example that we already heard, some uh, uh, innovation being done in Estonia, the small, and I'm not sure that, uh, whether you know how small Estonia is, it's a very small country. It doesn't limit your ability to innovate and create a whole business around it. So we think, the, and, and Ceridian obviously is already a global company, globally connected. That kind of a mindset of seeking out opportunities around the world is important to the success of the App Factory as well. And what Microsoft brings to the table is, for example, the connectivity to the other over 10 quickly growing number of App Factories. So those students here in Mauritius, very naturally, will work with students in Egypt, in South Africa, in Uganda, in Ghana, in Rwanda, and so forth. Again, learning a vital skill set that will help them to pay back, um, invest in their own career, but pay back um, to the economy as well. So in summary, we are very, very excited about the opportunity that we create here to make a small contribution to help in that digital transformation. It will help young people and their families to build very sustainable, very exciting careers for themselves. It will help the economies around um, those people to grow faster, to um, seek new opportunities. And at the same time, it will help us to hopefully leave, uh, leave lives that are more rewarding, that are safer, they're healthier, and uh, more prosperous. I'm very excited about the opportunity. We're looking forward to working together. And I thank you again for attending today. And I think it's my role now to hand over back to um, Anu. Thank you very much. 
This was the third edition of the Small SAP Internship Program organized by Microsoft and Ceridian under the banner of the App Factory. Spanning over six weeks, 120 students from the University of Mauritius were brought in to take part in this internship. An internship during which they were trained, coached, and constantly evaluated. A thorough process after which we had 82 individuals who proved that they had the right mindset, a growth mindset, to work on the projects from SMEs. Now, this internship would not have been possible without the involvement of the community of Microsoft Student Partners. The MSP program is a skills development program during which technical skills and soft skills of MSPs are honed and built. MSPs aspire to be technology leaders who keep themselves up to date with any new technology, constantly work on their skills and take on projects that is going to help transform the industry. This was the aim of our, MS, our team of MSPs when they each took the lead of a team to work on a project. During these six weeks, their challenge was to develop cloud-based solution while leading their team by example. You will find these MSPs in blue shirts all around you. The projects developed during the small SAP internship were backed by small and medium enterprises with our target being to enhance the way they function. The core idea behind this internship and the solutions developed were to pave the way for digital transformation. These solutions have an aim to change how SMEs interact with their customers, empower their employees, and optimize and automate uh, their daily operations to transform their products and services. Our aim was to harness the power of latest technologies to provide for this transformation. From cross-platform mobile development to a bot answering queries 24-7 without any uh, human intervention, to giving SMEs the ability to predict their sales even before their product hits the market. These solutions are going to bring about a disruptive innovation in the business landscape of Mauritius. The success of this internship and the solutions that came out of it depended hugely on the planning done by our trainers. These trainers in question formed part of the community of Microsoft Student Partners. They were tasked to deliver training on each aspect on app development, evaluate progress of participants, and get our participants ready to take their projects from SMEs. For this year, the five training tracks were identified, were identified that would be relevant to set the foundation to tackle the fundamentals of digital transformation for SMEs. These tracks were made so that the solution was complete and thorough, both on the technical aspect and the non-technical aspect. The solutions devised were, were applicable mobile applications together with websites, digital marketing strategies, and business models to support all of this. These business models and strategies were devised of the thorough research done by our participants themselves. Design thinking was one of the methodology used to behind uh, our development process. The foundation of all these tracks laid on the mindset that was built in, in our participants, that of a growth mindset. This growth mindset in question had, was shown by all our participants and was key for the development of this solution. So I represent here a Smart Moves for Entrepreneurs, which is a network which represents around 150 to 200 small and medium entrep uh, entrepreneurs. Um, we've been collaborating with Microsoft since uh, for the past two years, and we were very happy to be part of the Smart Apps Internship Program. So our role was to recommend to Arnaud and his team uh, three, uh, three or five projects, real-life projects, 
that is entrepreneurs who had real uh, real life business issues and then uh, they met the entrepreneurs through us and then we were um, called upon to to watch the pictures of the solutions and for us it was really mind-blowing because the interns came up with real solution they showed really maturity inventivity imagination and their solutions were for us adapted to the entrepreneur's reality. So for us, participating in this project is really about creating this ecosystem for entrepreneurs. This is what we uh, want to promote at Smart Moves for Entrepreneurs. That is an ecosystem where the entrepreneurs are inside. There's the ministers here, Mr. Bola and Mr. Saminaden from Technology and Business, Microsoft as a facilitator. This is what we want to look forward. And I do have a message for all the um, interns here. As I told you last time, don't work for anybody, work for yourself. You've got amazing potential. Thank you. It is indeed a pleasure for me to address you on the occasion of the launch of the App Factory. And thanks to Serigen and Microsoft Africa for the invitation. Let me congratulate Serigen and Microsoft for Africa for this initiative which provides a space for ICT graduates and developers to build software applications, gain hands-on experience, as well as grow their business skills. <clears throat> this should not only improve the employability of the participants of the program, but also empower them to turn great ideas into a reality, which will hopefully be in the form of a business venture. I wish to put on record the commitment of Microsoft to the development of the entrepreneurship ecosystem in Africa, a commitment that we have always acknowledged at the level of my ministry, that is the Ministry of Business, Enterprise and Cooperatives. Uh, you will recall that we have signed a memorandum of uh, understanding uh, between SMEDA and Microsoft in September 2016, and which makes provision for training to local entrepreneurs in the fields of finance and accounting, financial entrepreneurial education, and an introduction to information technology and cloud computing. In October 2016, some 100 SMEs consequently benefited from a digital transformation training relating to best practices and new trends on the digital market. As you also are aware, SMEs are key to driving our country's long-term economic growth and social development through employability and enhancing our global competitiveness. But due to various challenges, many of them close their doors within the first year or within 18 months of operation. And one of the most prominent factors is that of technology or lack of technology. In today's digital age, no business can thrive without an adapted use of ICT. There is a growing consensus that in the new globalized world, the ability to generate and utilize technologies, both old and new, will be vital to boost competitiveness as well as sustainable development. This is even more crucial for an island like Mauritius, which has no choice but to export to circumvent the limits inherent to restricted size of its domestic market. Economists themselves today formally recognize technology as engines of economic growth. The App Factory empowers participating graduates to become, entre to become technopreneurs. One of the main strategies recommended by the Tenure Master Plan, which was uh, launched by my ministry, is to encourage innovation and technology transfer. It goes further by stating that in order for Mauritius to graduate to a high income economy, as per government's declared policy, there is a need for a shift to a more knowledge-based economy. At the end of this internship, graduates will be able to fully design, implement, and deploy cloud-enabled mobile and IT solutions, and will thus have whatever it takes to become technopreneurs. By embracing technopreneurship, you are bound to become real sources of power in the knowledge-based economy that we want to build. Due to the fact that you will 
be adequately prepared and empowered following this internship, I fully encourage you to embark on this adventure as technopreneurship is today the only source of long-run sustainable competitive advantage. Indeed, in an era of man-made brand power in industries, individual, corporate, and national economic success will all require both new and more extensive skills sets like yours than those that have been required in the past. This is essential for Mauritius to encourage a technopreneurship culture and to build an innovative ICT startup nation. The SME Master Plan proposes to foster high growth potential SMEs, as with 59% of SMEs presently stagnating with a turnover of less than 2 million rupees per annum. We need to have new startups doing business in high growth potential sectors, such as ICT, knowledge-based activities, finance, and professional services. SMEs operating in the ICT space today are mainly involved in providing generic IT solutions, such as financial, accounting, HR, and customer relationship management, CRM, for BPO companies and call centers. However, opportunities do exist in higher value added and more sophisticated market segments, such as mobile apps development and e-services, that is e-learning, e-government, or fintech. For example, we rely on skilled and talented individuals like you to bring innovative and disruptive ICT solutions for health, well-being, and aging, and deliver new and more efficient care to motion citizens through, for example, medical alert, smart watches, and thus respond to new market opportunities. Such a program as the Art Factory is relevant in this perspective, as by developing your ability to recognize opportunity and by giving you the tools to capitalize on those opportunities, it will empower all of you present here to take ownership of your future by creating your own jobs, as mentioned by our friend, and paying this forward by eventually being able to hire others. C'est tout le mal que je vous souhaite. The App Factory will equip graduates to devise solutions that will lead to the digital transformation of SMEs. On another note, the fourth industrial revolution, which is characterized by digitization coupled with innovation, is knocking on the door of the business landscape. This newly crafted environment is forcing enterprises to re-examine the way they do business and to seize opportunities presented by this new round of industrial revolution. Enterprises are bound to accelerate the pace of their business transformation through technology and continuous innovation to craft business opportunities. Recent studies show clearly that today's business X factor for SMEs is a smart adoption of information and telecommunication technology. ICT acts as a great enabler for businesses irrespective of their sizes. Whether you are a tech start, startup, or a provider of traditional products or services, thanks to capabilities such as the use of social networks, cloud-based services, and data analytics, one can expand his business to reach to new clients and markets. One phenomenon in particular that has created new opportunities for SMEs is cloud ad adoption, which has sped up with the rapid growth of the digital economy. By offering access to capabilities and, ease and services that previously only multinationals could afford, cloud computing, cloud computing has created a level playing field for SMEs. While the use of collaborative software, customer relationship management, and e-commerce applications is widespread among SMEs around the world, it is unfortunate that motion SMEs are yet to take full use of ICT to run their operations, reach out to new markets and supply chains, and engage with other stakeholders, including public sector agencies. Our SMEs are in reality at crossroads between business as usual and developing new ways of doing business, as we saw in today's highly competitive market. There is only ICT and innovation that can safeguard the sustainability of our enterprises. Many SMEs have yet to unlock the full potential of digital transformation. And making digital transformation a reality for SMEs is one of the main challenges faced by the Ministry of Business, Enterprise, and Cooperatives. 
SMEs need to revamp themselves to sustain their profitability. And there is a need to devise adapted solutions for them to facilitate, to facilitate the adoption of technology for them, make better decisions that can identify new opportunities for growth and help to build deeper and more valuable relationships with customers. This is a segment that can be serviced by talented individuals like you. There are also other cases where owners of small and medium businesses hesitate to roll out new technologies because they lack the expertise or and staff to properly use and manage them. Skills are indeed an essential prerequisite for competitiveness and technological mastery. The mastery, use and adaptation of new technologies call for more skills, higher levels of skills and different kinds of skills. With this in mind, the App Factory will transform Ceridian into a skills and talent lab that will train interns to help SMEs in their digital transformation. This includes creating and introducing solutions like data analytics for more informed decision making, chatbots for better customer engagement, cross-platform application, and digital marketing strategies. Graduates participating in the App Factory will thus be called upon to use their skills and talent to help drive the digital transformation of SMEs of Mauritius which will allow these businesses to compete with larger competitors as they grow and prosper. And at the level of my ministry, so as to set the example, we will be launching an SME portal that is a platform that will bring together diverse MSMEs, I mean micro, small and medium enterprises, related groups, entrepreneurs, existing and potential, government, parastatal institutions, buyers, sellers, training cells, technology developers, and academia. The portal will assist in establishing an integrated communication and visibility strategy for MSMEs, including Interalia, an online help desk for mentoring and coaching via a live chat, a registration and matchmaking platform, peer-to-peer -peer networking, a learning center, a catalog of SME products and services, and mobile application for businesses. This. I hope will contribute in encouraging our SMEs to embrace the digital culture. So to conclude, I see that great challenges lie upon on you, many of you, many of which are large and complex, for a more needed boost to a sluggish economic recovery, there needs to be a transition of SMEs from digital laggards to digital champions. At the end of the internship, graduates will be able to design and implement and deploy cloud-enabled mobile and anti solutions and IT solutions in various sectors, and will also be equipped with critical business skills that empower them to secure jobs or create their own jobs. You will thus be called upon to play a key role in this transition, whether it be as solution provider or as technopreneur. In any case, there are no magical solutions, but only opportunities to be seized, and you are the ones who, and Till the end of the App Factory program, will hold the key to an optimum exploitation of those opportunities. May I thank you for your attention? It gives me great pleasure to intervene today during the launching ceremony for the App Factory and the, the, and the award of certificates to 83 successful participants of the Smart Apps Partnership Program. The world today is driven by technology. In this era, it is important for people to be computer literate as well as technology literate. Cars coming out of assembly lines today, nowadays are endowed with intelligent systems. Office work revolves around technology with computers taking center stage by offering office automation tools and IT systems to support the business of the place. This has called for a review of the role of the National Computer Board to include training in coding. Coding is now considered as the new form of literacy. It is a skill that is useful in everyday life, especially in today's highly digital world. It is essential that people have at least basic knowledge of programming. Just like learning how to ride a bike, Learning how to code is easier when you're young. As a matter of fact, learning how to code is getting easier and more interesting as there are more and more new software and updated instructional 
methods that keep youngsters interested and excited about computer programming. The Microsoft for Africa initiative, together with Seridian, have taken the concept of coding and apps development to new heights with the apps factory. I'm informed that some 20 IT graduates will be undergoing a three month training in the app factory to gain knowledge in digital marketing, web development, mobile apps development, design thinking, communication, and startup ventures. The app factory prepares them to build mobile apps across platforms while ensuring that the apps responds to the need of the consumers. What reduces me more is that the interns have a good insight into how they can eventually set up startups, thus igniting the entrepreneurial spirit in them. Besides acquiring skills, the App Factory initiative provided a platform for the participants to try their hands at real life projects for the SME sector. On completing the internship at the App Factory, our young IT graduates will join the ranks of the 300 or so developers who have successfully come out of the App Factory. It is worthwhile, worthwhile noting that nine out, of, nine out of 10 App Factory graduates get full-time employment. Ladies and gentlemen, so as to groom this new trend in technology, my ministry is pushing ahead with initiatives on mobile apps and coding. The IBM MEA Middle East Africa Training Initiative is playing a key role to address the skill shortage in the IT industry across Africa by providing resources, education and training. An MOU has been signed between IBM and the Ministry last year to extend this initiative to local public uni universities. The program covers several certification tracks that prepare the university students to fill in jobs position that are required in the IT industry such as enterprise application, cyber security and e-business. Students will be better equipped for a career in the IT industry. Local capability will be built according to international standards. In new areas and environment for a continuous technical update will be provided. Dear guests, new technologies are entering our daily life. The expectation from workers and customers to be always connected is forcing companies to bring mobile solutions to market faster, while also trying to align them with the core business drivers. This government, through my ministry, is sparing no effort in harnessing this new culture. We have recently launched our 40 new e-services with the ambition to ease the daily life of Mauritians. Mobile apps and e-services are today necessities. That is why we also support laudable initiatives taken by the private sector. Hence, I would like to take some time to highlight the endeavor with which the region is also giving a helping hand in creating the ideal environment for these trends to prosper. I would like to outline the instrumental dedication which Vidya Modigan is showing for these initiatives. Some two weeks back, he and his team have launched here itself the African Code Week, which aims to educate 5 million of young Africans within the next 10 years. Coding is a whole new language for children to speak fluently and express themselves in this 21st century. In 2016, 426,000 youth across 30 countries were initiated to coding. For this year, 2017, the, ab the ambition of Africa Code Week is to educate more than half a million African children in 35 countries, including Mauritius. The Africa Code Week 2017 Mauritius Initiative will be held from 14th to the 18th of August. We all agree that right now, Mauritius does not have enough trained person to fulfill our ambition in the ICT sector. This is why the Prime Minister, Honorable Pravin Jagnat, has announced that in his last budget, some measures like a tax holiday for people investing in innovative mechanisms, such, such measures are deemed to attract foreign experts. We do, not need, we do need that kind of expertise to partner us in shaping this new environment. The NCB is also collaborating as a key partner with other local stakeholders with a view to train some 15,000 Mauritian citizens 
including college students, university students, and youngsters. Furthermore, the Digital Youth Engagement Program is being implemented by the National Computer Board to provide introductory courses on coding to youngsters. NCB will collaborate with the Ministry of Education to introduce a 15-hour training initiation of coding to upper primary and lower, lower secondary school students. It is estimated that some 2,000 students will be trained on coding during the financial year 2017-2018. The students will not have to spend long time, long and boring hours studying the specific of coding. Instead, they will be taught on the basics of coding for the use of games and apps and resources available through online platforms through NCB cyber caravans. <clears throat> the main objective of the project is to spark the interest of young learners for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics subjects, to contribute to increase the number of students opting for computer and science and subjects at secondary and tertiary levels. The benefits of the introduction of coding from an early age include educational benefits, computational thinking, creativity, and thinking fluidity, as well as lead to future job prospects. Undoubtedly, this initiative, as well as the Apps Factory initiative, will in the long run contribute towards creating an adequate and diversified talent pool to fill the increasing number of technology jobs that shall be available in the future and hence drive the growth of the IT sector. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to express once more my appreciation for the App Factory initiative and their partnership between Seridian and Microsoft for Africa. Before concluding, I wish all the participants of the Smart App Internship Program and the interns of the App Factory fruitful, fruitful careers in the ICT world. Thank you very much.